2021 has not started off the way that we would all like, but I do want to start looking at some very different tech at the beginning of 2021. What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. Well, in today's video, I have two products that I want to look at. First one's called Lift ID Neurostimulation, which is basically trying to fry your brain with some uh, low level two electrodes. And then the next one is something from Olive Union called the Olive Smart Ear, which is basically like a hearing aid that you can use, but not a hearing aid that's kind of got that weird connotation that we all know. First, let's talk about the Lift ID Neurostimulation, which uses TDCS technology. Now look, I'm not smart by any stretch of the imagination, and I'm not exactly sure what all that stuff means, so I had to look it up. TDCS stands for Transcranial Direct Current Stimulation, and that's exactly what this particular thing does, and it's really supposed to help you focus and work without the stimulants like caffeine and things of that nature. Now, I am a giant coffee drinker and a Red Bull consumer, so I was very interested in this particular thing. Now, it's supposed to help you work smarter, better, faster, according to their website, and this whole thing works on the premise of mild electrical stimulation over time. Now, by doing so, it provides the brain a training routine that improves focus, productivity, and memory. Now, I'm gonna be real clear here, and it says it all over the packaging and the website and everything. Do not use this thing for more than 20 minutes once per day. And they also say to use this thing like when you're listening to music, playing a video game, pounding through work, work emails, whatever that might be. And so while you're doing those things, it's delivering this constant mild low level direct current right here to the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex region of the brain effectively, the, the right here. And I think, not 100% sure, I may have just become a brain expert by strapping this thing to my forehead. Not 100% sure on that. I actually had to read the directions and I highly recommend that you do so as well because not necessarily the most intuitive thing right out of the packaging. But I will say once you figure out and read the instructions, it's not nearly that difficult at all. It comes in this nice little fancy bag where everything goes back into it, including the thing that you strap to your forehead. Now, before you do anything, make sure that you take the time to measure the thing approximately to your forehead and they said you're supposed to do like this two fingers above your eyebrow bit um, when it uh, goes onto your forehead. It also comes with the circle sponges in the bottle that you mix the salt water into and more on that in a minute. You're gonna strap it to your forehead to make sure that you're getting the current exactly where it's supposed to go. And after you wet down the circle sponges with the warm water, that's when you put the little salt water mixture that you made there together. Now you're supposed to put one tablespoon of salt into the two ounce water bottle that they provided you, shake it, and then put the salt water on those pads like I mentioned. After that, you strap the device to your forehead and basically press start. At the bottom of the silver forehead strap, that there's a button that will beep three times that's gonna let you know when it's basically firing up and then the minor electrical impulses will basically go into your brain. Now that I've described basically how to use it, let me tell you what it was like to use it the very first time because I wasn't quite sure what to expect. Now I use it every day for about a week and after the first time, experiencing it for the first time, uh, I can tell you that it definitely got a lot better after the very first use. Very first day that I put it on my head, I strapped it to my forehead and played some video games with my son over the holidays. And, and I felt, honestly, when it was on my forehead, I just needed to scratch my forehead raw. Now, according to the website, they say that you're gonna experience like this warm prickly feeling or a tingly sensation and might be a little itchy. And I can attest to all those things because I was all of that and more. It was definitely itchy to the point where I just wanted to like scratch my forehead. But after about seven-ish minutes of the 20 minutes for the very first time, I was okay wearing it and I actually kind of just blocked it out. But that very first like five to seven minutes, I just wanted to scratch my forehead so bad. That being said, I will say that my forehead, as you can see some spots up here, is typically a very sensitive area in terms of breakouts and things of that nature. And it did not in fact, at all like the saltwater solution in the very least. I actually felt that my head was breaking out more, and this is some kind of remnants from that, 
But yeah, that was what it felt like wearing it for the first time over the first few days. Now, according to their website, again, they basically say to use this thing as an alternative to chemical stimulants like caffeine and sugar and things of that nature. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't do that. <laughs> I basically uh, probably should have, now that I think about it, not drank so much coffee or Red Bull or anything like that, but I didn't lessen the amount of coffee or any type of stimulants that I took when using uh, the ID stimulation. Did it work? Uh, well, look, I didn't use it while I was working or anything like that, and I didn't feel any more or less alert, so I don't really know if that was like a placebo effect, but I was able to do things around the house without being less agitated, I suppose you could say, than I normally am doing like some type of honey-do list. So perhaps if I were to wear this thing long-term, um, more than just a week or two as I was testing it, maybe I would have a different outcome. Now, what I'm really excited about is the fact that this weird tech is available to us where we can try things like this electronic transcranial neuro tech stimulation, um, which is really crazy because a lot of the other times you didn't ever have that in the comfort of your own home. And that brings me to the next thing that I want to talk about, which is the Olive Smart Ear, or a hearable, not a wearable. It's a single earbud that goes inside your ear that Bluetooth connects to your phone. And it's not like a traditional type hearing aid. And it's also not something that you would use for like crazy amounts of good levels of music. You can definitely use it as a Bluetooth in-ear audio device, but that's not the point of the device. The point is if like you have a hard time hearing or anything like that and you want to enhance your conversations or TV listening inside a house, all of Smart Ear is definitely something that you want to check out. Setup is a breeze as it comes with a great app that you can personalize all the sound settings within just a few minutes. It does go through like this little hearing test through the app, it takes about five minutes, and it's super easy to use, very easy to connect, and super comfortable to wear in each ear. I love the fact that you can start in one and just like simply turn it around and flip it into the other. That way you have no ear fatigue at all. The way they've made this particular device, it's really, you can flip it around no problem at all, and you can take phone calls with it and listen to music if you absolutely had to. When you first get the Olive Smart Ear, it personalizes itself directly with your particular ears, like I mentioned with that five minute sound calibration process. It's really sweet and really awesome, and it's very intuitive. I had no issues at all wearing this thing for multiple hours a day, and it definitely enhanced the conversations that I was having with my family, my kids, my wife, and of course, friends socially distanced six feet apart. Now the cool thing is, is through the app, you can customize it any way you wanna hear with multiple bands and different types of modes like TV, feedback cancellation, and conversation. This particular hearable comes with a little charging case that you can put it in and basically pocket it and it fits in the palm of your hand. The Olive Smart Ear has about seven hours of use on a very single charge, which it sips the battery and it has a very tiny charging case that comes with it for an extra 14 hours. I don't really like the charging case, to be completely honest, because it uses micro USB. Again, that's kind of a nitpicky thing at this point, but I would love to see a USB Type-C. But again, that's not the end of the world with this particular thing. Another cool thing about the Olive Smart Ear is the fact that it has touch control, so like when you're using it, changing the volume, Disconnecting phone calls and more can all be done through this tiny earbud that's inside your ear where hardly anybody ever sees. Again, it's not a hearing aid or intended to be used as a medical device, but it can enhance conversations around you and cut through some of the loud ambient noise and get the crap out so you can actually hear the things that you want to hear. Now, the Olive Smart Ear is gonna run you about 200 bucks, 199 at the time of recording this video on their website but it's not necessarily the most inexpensive or most expensive thing. And there's a lot of different things that you can do with it. Perhaps if you had an older parent or perhaps if you're hard of hearing and you want something to enhance the conversations a little bit easier by having something in your ear, this is something that you could consider. You could use this and you wouldn't look out of place because honestly, everybody's wearing headphones nowadays. It looks very sleek, it's very easy to fit in your ear, and honestly, it will pretty much go completely unnoticed. Like I said, there's a lot of different tech that's coming out, I'm really excited, I'm looking to show you all of it. I know CES is coming up, or at the time of this recording may have passed, I'm not entirely sure when I'm gonna publish this video. But honestly, from things like direct transcranial stimulation to hearables, I'm excited about where this tech is going because you never know, I might actually become the bionic man. And I am here for that energy. So that's it. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. And as always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below. We'll see you next time.